Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you a brand new series for our YouTube channel. We are going to be playing through Stardew Valley. Now, the goal of this will be... Let's beat it. <laughs> um, I have played Stardew Valley before, and um, actually I like her. They gave me a good one right off the bat, huh? Um, I've played Stardew Valley before, and I got to year, like, the very first part of year two. I've never beaten it, and I would very much like to beat Stardew Valley. That does mean this is going to be an incredibly long playthrough, but I'm okay with it. Let's do that one. Do like curly pigtails. Okay, shirt. I guess I don't have to spend too much time in there. That's good. Accent. I don't need beards. What is all this? <laughs> Is that a necklace? I kind of like a scarf or something. Okay, we'll go with that. Um, pants color, can I make it the same as, so it looks like it's overalls? Kinda. Maybe a little bit darker. There. I don't like the scarf, it looks weird. Is that a duck bill? <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, this is our farmer. So we're gonna name her Vesper. We're gonna name the farm. Um, I'll name it the same as my Animal Crossing farm, Jelly Mint Farm. And favorite thing I heard if you put in concerned ape, concerned ape, you get something really cool at the end. I prefer. This cat. Now, I have always done the standard farm. We do like with standard. <laughs> I'm gonna regret it if I don't. The other farms just aren't aren't for me, so. And for my very special granddaughter. What is this, Grandpa? What did you do? I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Yeah, that's today. <laughs> that's every day. That's every day. <laughs> And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let Grandpa rest. XX years later. Work. Terminated. Is that Woody? There we are. We look awful. <laughs> Life's better with Joja. Open the letter. Dear Vesper, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Jellymint Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's a perfect place to start your new life. 
This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck, Grandpa. Yes, if Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Aww. Yeah, so like I said, I've played this before. I know a lot about it, so it, oh, there won't be too many surprises until after year one. After year one, I'm, I'm just not familiar with the game hardly at all. I know there's a whole other island that you unlock that I know nothing about. So it's going to be pretty interesting, I think. Um, I, my goal is to beat it, and I th I'm finding that my best chances to beat games without me getting bored and moving on is to do them for YouTube. <laughs> so we're going to do them. And we're going to do this one together. And I'm excited for it. I really love Stardew Valley. Hello, you must be Vesper. Hey, Robin. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. Now, important question. Who should we marry? <laughs> I, need to, I need to think this. This is Jelly Mint Farm. Look at the mess. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, hello, Lewis. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. Quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. A good house, very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! <laughs> Don't listen to her, Vesper. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Huh. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Hi, Lewis. So, I wanted to start playing this game because I was checking out Coral Island. And it's very similar to this game. You can obviously tell it's inspired by it. Um, and the reason I'm not playing that on the channel is I want to wait for that game until it's out of early access. Because there were already things I was coming across that, um, like, I there was a festival that you couldn't do. No marriage, no kids. So, yeah, I, was, I just want to wait on that game. But we will be playing that one on the channel for sure when it launches. Um, I'm really looking forward to that one. Okay, we want to get our parsnips going. So let's clear out a little spot here. Um, I know I hate getting the grass before I have a silo, but we will have enough of it, I promise. Um, this tree has got to go. Okay. Get this. And this stone. Um, and then we'll clear a little more out on this side. I know this is just a baby tree, but going down as well as this one. Okay. So now we've got 15 parsnips. So let's do... Uh, what, what's the auto cursor? This. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, three, four, five. Two. 
Four and five. We'll get these down. Um, and I really will redo this when we get our scarecrow. And again, when we get our sprinklers. <laughs> we don't have those right now, so this is what we're left with. All right, 8.40 a.m. Um, can I make a chest? I need 50 wood for a chest. Let's try to get that real quick before we go and start meeting people. Although I do want to make sure that I buy, um... I buy some more seeds. I would like to get some more seeds growing. Okay. This out the way. Hey, get back here. Alright. Get a chest. I'm gonna put that chest right here. I'm gonna put away all of this stuff that and that and we always keep those on us especially the hoe because if we find worms we be digging now oh, any forageable yes. dandelion burr, 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 burr. All right, let's go see what we can buy for 500. What you got? Mayor Lewis's birthday is on Sunday. That probably won't be this episode. No one's posting anything. Hello. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Stardrop Saloon. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hey, it's Miss Vesper, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Okay. Um. For the. We've got parsnips going. I wanna buy. They take. It takes a bean, a cauliflower. So I'm gonna buy two, three bean stalks. Four of these, and the rest cauliflower. One. <laughs> hey, wait, is there anything for 40? Two more parsnips. All right, we have zero cash. That's A-OK -okay with me. Eventually, we're going to want to do all cauliflowers. Although, I did kind of think of playing this a little bit differently than I normally do and not min-maxing or trying to get the most out of it. Cauliflowers will get you the most money in spring. Um, I'm thinking of doing something different. Maybe just playing the game a little bit differently. So, we've got four potatoes. Let's do one, two... Three, four. Um, got one cauliflower. Let's do cauliflower. Two parsnips. I'm just gonna put at the end of this. And then we've got three beans, which I'm going to... One, two, three. They're on sticks. Okay. Grab this. Perfect. We cannot forget about that one cauliflower over there. Okay, now we can run around and do whatever. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 
Got very little, little energy. That's okay, I really just want to meet people as we're running around here. Da -da. Hello, Emily. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Thank you. Glad you came up because I was just about to do your trash. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Meet you. Hey, kid. Oh. I didn't know you could sit in the chairs. Oh my gosh, wait. I need to talk to the kid. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Be home alone. Check your trash room. Can we talk to you? Hello, you must be Vesper, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Evelyn. Let's go see if... Guy is home. George, I think his name is? Yeah. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. <laughs> Bye, George. See if Pam and Penny are home? Oh, hello, I'm Penny. I've married Penny before. I think she is, uh, might be my favorite, and it's not just because her name is Penny, by the way. <laughs> it's a, it's, I like when I run into um, Pennies in games, because there's not many of us out there in the world. No worms. No shells. Oh, get over here, get over here, get over here, get over here. I've never married Elliot. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in Little Cabin by the Beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Elliot. And I know his favorite gift is fish. So we could potentially... Hello, Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Okay, where else can we go? Hoping for some more forageables. Why don't we go through the forest? I, I'm, I'm considering him. He's really hard to find though sometimes. I need to look at his schedule. Just always keep a fish on us so we can give it to him. <laughs> can you get the sh the um the axe right now? Ah, hello. Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Rude. I've never married her either. She seems kind of shallow. I've married Shane. His is okay, I guess. Not really impressed by Shane. It's kind of like one of those I want to fix you marriages, and I, I'm not a real fan of like let me fix you and we'll be lovers type thing. You shouldn't... I don't know, I feel like that's an unhealthy marriage thing. Ooh, let's grab all these. Do you need these for anything? Like, is this anything in the community center? I don't know. I should have probably turned on mixed up the community center. Well. I guess you can't find the axe because wasn't it over here? Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it was over there. 
Alright, then let's run back up to our place. Coming through the bottom so we can maybe try to clear a little bit of a path. Although our energy is pretty low, so I'm concerned. Um, get as far as we can. Good. Good. Okay. I know, I know, I know. Alright, um, I don't know if we need spring onions for anything, so I'm going to... Put one in. One of those in. Put one of those in. This, and this, and this. We will sell the rest. Bing, boom. Although dandelions are okay for gifts. Alright, it's 7.20. Fairly enough. <laughs> or that's late enough for us to go to sleep. Forging. And then I'm gonna open a soda. There might be a little hiss. There you go. <laughs> Get my Diet Dr. Pepper going here. We made 128 G. So my goal also is um, to try and get the four candles for the grandpa. I've never gotten a grandpa evaluation before, so I don't know what goes into that. We will find out. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Our fishing. Oops. Yeah, so like I said, I might do something a little bit different in how we... Like, maybe we focus on animals instead of crops, or... Um, maybe we don't do an ancient fruit wine empire? <laughs> or... Maybe... Jams? We are Jelly Mint Farm. Um... Maybe we specialize in jams. That we do like a little, that's the only thing we can, we can sell or something. Did I do something? No, oh, good. All right, any forgeables? No. That might be interesting to just do jams and jellies. I need a seaweed for a stir fry I'm making. We can try. I mean, we're about to get our fishing pole, so. Seaweed. Oh, yuck. That would be so gross in a stir fry. <laughs> oh, wait. Here's a worm. Copper. Hello, Willie. Hey there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. Hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Probably will, because I have trouble with the fishing minigame. You received a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need some supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Can you believe that one person made this game? I can't. 
Like, I, I would never think that one person would be able to do all of this by themselves. Music, art, program. Mm -hmm. And he's making a new game, too, and we will definitely play that when it comes out. I'm actually, it's called The Haunted Chocolatier. Looking forward to that one. I was trying to find the right time to play Stardew Valley on the channel, so I'm glad that it, uh, whoop. I'm glad that it felt like the right time now. Sardine. But I would actually like a seaweed. So that was a silver sardine we caught. Oh, the bobber's so small, what the heck? Okay, halibut. Nine AM only. We've got plenty of time to fish the day away. Fishing is good money too, so although I'm you can see I'm extremely bad at it. Sardine. Hoping to get a seaweed. Like I said, I was waiting for the good time to play this because this is one of my favorite games. I have it actually marked as a favorite in Steam. I have like, I have libraries where games I want to beat, games I've beaten, um, and favorite games. I have like endless games, building games, and strategy games. This is under one of my favorite games because I'll, I'll sit down and I'll get in the mood to play this and I'll play it for... You know, hours upon hours. Like I said, for some reason, I've just never, I've never beaten the game or gotten to the end game. Um, haven't experienced that new island. Haven't, um, haven't gotten to the grandpa's evaluation. So I'm really looking forward to kind of experience some new stuff as well. And do it with like kind of a, a different take maybe. Like I'm really liking the jelly idea or the jam idea. Um, so we, I think we're definitely going to go with that and just, instead of always doing wine or always doing, um, you know, the stuff that makes the most money, the ancient fruit stuff, I think, I think jelly. <laughs> we are jelly mint, so. We're going to be a jam, jam seller. Which I gotta, that means I gotta remember how to do that stuff. Aha! A seaweed. That's what we wanted. I should probably do a little bit more fishing. I want to keep one of everything. Just until I know what's in the community center. I didn't do randomize, so I should remember it, but I, I don't. I never do. Gotta check the garbage. Ah, Alex. I haven't ma married Alex either. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. Inventory full. Really? Alright, I'll come back for that. Here's what I'll do. Oh, I know. Evelyn needs the seaweed. Where is she? Thought that lamp was her for a second. <laughs> oh, let me talk to Pam. Hold on. We've not talked to her yet. Wait, Pam. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. I actually, I actually like Pam too. I know. She's very easy to not like at first, especially with the way she treats Penny. But then you get to know her a little bit. I like her, except she is a raging alcoholic, so... <laughs> uh, where's Evelyn at this time of day? Hmm. 
I was thinking about doing some modded playthrough of Stardew Valley. Maybe the community or the um, town hall. Like lightly modded. Add a little flavor. This is not. I meant the shop. Um, but I think just. If I haven't beaten it for the first time uh, doing this, get everyone freaking out. I'd like I'd like to beat it for the first time unmodded, the way it was meant to be. Got them all. I think I've met all of these people. Got Emily. Got Caroline. Got her. I've got Jody. I've got 128 gold. Um, what if, aside from what we needed for, like, jellies and the community center, what if we were a flower farm? <laughs> It'd take forever to get money. But I think I want to do it. Let's do inventory. <laughs> Dang it. Where the heck is Evelyn? I've got a seaweed for her. Sneak in while we were running around. George, where's your better half? Like another gloomy day. Did she not appear anywhere, huh? Hello. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? Oh gosh. Where's Evelyn? I don't know. Must be doing something cute somewhere. I like her. She might be one of my favorite people, but. but I have no idea where she's at. Hello, Haley. I've already met you. Nice makeup. Or wait, are you even wearing any? You know what, Haley? You know who we could go meet while we're waiting for the day to pass and Evelyn to return home? We try to go meet, um... Who's this guy up here? Meet Dimitri. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Blindness up here. He is. Blindness, would you like a um a gift? How nice. Perfect. Ranger, hello. Oh worms, but I have a full inventory. Are you in your house? I can't. I want to meet Sebastian. I, al I will always get Sebastian and Elliot mixed up, by the way. So sometimes I'll say Sebastian and mean Elliot. Sometimes I'll say Elliot. Actually, whenever I say Elliot, I mean Elliot. But when I say Sebastian, who knows who I mean? It's either Sebastian or Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna throw that one out there. <laughs> Alright, is she home yet? Golly. Oh yeah, there she is. Here, I brought this for your stir fry. Oh, so you saw the notice I posted. It looks perfect. Here's your payment, as promised. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, well let's go home. Put some of our fish away. Um. Yeah, my cat says. Wanted you to know. <laughs> yeah, you guys can't hear her because it's not picking her up, but she's right below my feet going, meow. <laughs> yeah, ho, oh, baby, I know. Okay, let's put this away, and then we're going to keep one of each. 
And so that leaves us with two things to sell because I gifted Linus a fish. Okay. Now, 6 p.m. The store is probably closed. But let me go try it anyway. It might be 7. But I do like the idea of maybe doing flower farming. And jelly mint is like jams and flowers and kind of like a lavender farm type thing. That would be kind of cute. Oh yeah, you're all... Hey. I'm mad. Alright, well let's go to the saloon and see if we can meet some people who... They should be coming... Filing in. Ah. Shane. What? What do you want? Go away. I don't know why I decided to marry Shane, but I did. <laughs> I liked his story, just not as a romance story. Like, it, it would have been cool to, like, help him out. And then, um... And then let him find love somewhere else, you know. As a romance, he's kind of... It's one of those, like, this is gonna be toxic. But I know a lot of people like him. I know a lot of people like Sebastian, and I mean Sebastian on that one. A lot of people like Elliot. I've not married Alex before either, but he seems like a kid to me, so I'm not real... Ah, a lost book. You found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. Uh, let me go home this way. I know that daffodil is still down there, but hopefully it will still be there tomorrow. No more worms. Alright. Now. I'd like to clear out a little bit more. Ooh, a geode. Found a geode. The local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside. Let's clear out some stuff up this way. Um, um. Sap. Wood. Yeah, man, Coral Island, it, it's really fun. I played it for like three hours or something. And it very clearly is not finished yet, which it's fair because it's in early access. Um, but it's gonna be an amazing game. If you like Stardew Valley, you're gonna you're gonna really like Coral Island. So I would recommend that for anyone who enjoys Stardew Valley. Um, and want something just, you know, something different, different flavor. A little bit more. A 3D also, so that's, that's pretty nice. Not to say Stardew Valley needs to be 3D for it, for me to like it, because I really love this game. But we will be playing that on the channel at some point, so. Alright, let's put this stuff away. Um... Take that out, take that out, and fill it up so we're ready for the morning. Save some time here. Alright. And we go to sleep. Yes. Level 1 foraging! Trees sometimes drop seeds. New crafting recipe, wild seeds. And field snack. Gold from fishing. Okay. It's raining. And with that, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. And when we come back, we will continue on right where we left off. So guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Stardew Valley Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right. Bye-bye, everyone.